It's still not known what led to a car chase in Washington, D.C., which caused a security lockdown of the government and ended with an unarmed woman being shot in front of her baby by police on Thursday. Let's now get the details from RT's Sam Sachs. He's in Washington, D.C. for us. Hi there, Sam. So what's uh, known at this point about the incident there? Right. Well, the, the suspect's been identified by law enforcement as Miriam Carey, 34-year-old from Connecticut. She's a mother. Uh, she's been suffering from, ment reportedly suffering from mental illnesses, including postpartum depression. She was recently laid off uh, from her job as a dental hygienist. Uh, and her family have no idea why she did this. They are completely confused by all of this. But around 2 p.m. yesterday, she tried to gain access to a secure area near the White House here in Washington, D.C., just really a block away from the studio here. Uh, she was confronted by police. She uh, did a three-point turn, striking a police officer, and sped off to the U.S. Capitol, uh, where she was again confronted by police. Shots rang out. Uh, she eluded police again, where she uh, drove another few blocks near Senate office buildings. Uh, the car was then crashed, and police opened fire, uh, killing her, only then to realize killing her in front of her uh, one-year-old child. Uh, it's uh, worth noting she was completely unarmed. The only shots fired during this entire incident were from the police. And some people are saying this could have been a misunderstanding. If you know this area around D.C., there's constantly drills going on. There's security checkpoints going on. Um, you know, it's hard to drive around and figure out. And if uh, someone made a wrong turn and were confronted by police, someone who might have a history of mental illness uh, could get confused and, and drive off. Uh, it, it's tragic that it would end in, in someone's death. Right, this is what happened, but some say that the situation could have been handled differently, right? Right, uh, there'll, there'll be investigations into this. I mean, we're talking about the two most secure uh, locations probably on the planet, the U.S. Capitol and the White House, which might be why police were quick to jump uh, to, to lethal force. But a lot of people will be saying, you know, why, why didn't police try and shoot out the tires when they had the, the vehicle cornered? Why wasn't another uh, police car brought in to further box in the, the, the suspect's vehicle. And once the suspect's car was immobilized the, the third time, why was she just uh, shot dead? Of course, this comes with a string of incidents of, of people being unarmed uh, and being killed by police. Uh, you might remember recently there was the case of Ibrahim Todashev, uh, who was being questioned by the FBI. And during that questioning, he was uh, shot dead. He was unarmed. Even uh, with uh, the case of uh, uh, Zarnayev, the, the Boston bomber, uh, he was captured alive, but after uh, several shots rang out by police in the boat that he was hiding, and it was discovered that he was unarmed. And really, on a week-to-week -week basis, unfortunately, in the United States, we're, we're hearing stories of police shooting unarmed people uh, who, who they perceive as a threat and, and weren't. Um, so this is just yet another tragic uh, instance of that, unfortunately, here in the nation's capital. Indeed. All right. Artie, Sam Sachs, live from Washington, D.C. Thank you very much indeed for that, Sam.